Hey everyone, Tony here. Welcome to BikeBerry Answers, where we answer questions that people have on a very specific topic. Today's question is, is how tight do I torque the head bolts on my engine? So we're going to run through that and how to use the torque wrench the right way. It's going to be fun. This is right straight to the point. Going to really help you out. How much torque do I apply on my head bolts? So this is a 10 millimeter socket to these head bolts here on the 8000 cc And general rule of thumb, I like to do 10 pounds of torque on all the bolts. And I, you know, as I run it and everything, then what I do is I... Uh, come back and check it and everything and this one uh, is held up pretty well but I did notice I was just testing it before and this one was a little loose but really you can just get a torque wrench like this that's just an inexpensive one and yeah they have higher dollar ones if you want one of them but this works really well and you put it on here like that and then you read it like this so then you can see that it's on zero right here the bar is with no pressure at all and then it's got increments of you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, so on and so forth. So really you're just pulling it till it reaches that point and then you stop. So here we go. So see, 10, we've hit 10 right now. And then we stop and we move to the next one. Now what I like to do is a cross pattern. That means I jump to this one over here instead of just this one, you know, going this way back and forth. That way we've gone across the head and we're tightening everything, you know, kind of in an X pattern. So we're gonna put it on that one and then we'll come back. So as you can see, we're back at zero again. We're gonna pull. Oh, see how much that one moved? So it needed, needed some adjustment, right? Okay, so it slipped, so we're gonna now Pull it. Okay, I've had to turn it a couple of times, as you can see, right? All right. So now we hit 10. I'm satisfied with that. See how much movement that needed? So now I'm going to move over here. Remember our X cross pattern? We're back at zero. We're going to pull it. Okay. That little pop. Now we're at 10, so it needs a little tightening. Now we'll move to the back one here. Remember our X pattern. Get it on there nice and firm. And we'll give it a pull till we go to 10. See how loose that is? I'll reset it. Does that one need a tightening? We'll go till it says 10. All right, that's perfect. Well, I hope that helped you understand how to use your torque wrench properly to tighten the head bolts. The cool thing about it is uh, you could check them every once in a while and just to make sure that they stay tight, it's a good deal. So uh, keep watching out for these episodes. I'm going to keep answering questions with straight to the point videos that'll help you build your bike the way it should be. Take care.